Hey, I hope you guys really, really enjoy the Nons Valentine's Day special. If if you truly want more, there will be the second part of the movie uploaded to this channel pretty soon with action and the debut of Grenevieve. There was some misunderstandings a little bit late, but I got more scans in and I will finish the movie and part three will be uploaded, but I have part two done already, so it will be up really, really, really soon, so this is a good channel update, but this is the topic of the video today, so this is a channel update I want you guys to understand, I want you guys to go check out a couple of videos I will link in the description, I'm going to start making talk videos now that literally link you to other videos, I used to put link video as a reference for Yu-Gi-Oh, like link 4, link 3 to let you know and inform when I make a story video that lets you guys know the in and out about what inspired me to make that video and to make sure you follow along with the storyline. But the best part about this is I want you guys to heavily understand why I love Yu-Gi-Oh. I want you guys to heavily understand why I also love dancing and why I love to literally go out and express myself I also love to be an artist but this is literally two links that are going to be very informal of literally what my channel is about the promotion of my channel a whole lot of professional all that good shit going on in this channel will be up pretty soon so first I want you guys to look at this AMV of Aster Phoenix from Yu-Gi-Oh GX and this is one of my favorite verses that I've ever made and this literally stated why I was one of the you know top duelists at the club if you want a little bit of the insider I'll make a little bit of a separate video about me and my relation to a Yu-Gi-Oh club being known as the gang lord for Yu-Gi-Oh being known as Yami Yugi the guy who put Yugi Moto as Nepta Pharaoh in my AMVs going to Yu Gi Oh Club was literally one of the most outstanding things I could have done for my personal career because I was already known for being in love with Yu Gi Oh. I was already known for being in love with Yu Gi Oh GX. But me actually going to the club after literally being responsible for the gang Ompolis Blue, this was outstanding because the gang lord actually gets to play. And it was really, really. Really, really good. This AMV took a lot of time and effort, and I really enjoyed making it. I want you guys to understand that this is something I take a lot of pride into. And this is another thing that I want to post. This is this is a custom Netflix show called Can't Cope, Won't Cope. The review will also be in the description. It will be a second link in the description. It's about a girl named Ashley, and it's about two girls living in a foreign country that literally like to party, that like to do this and that, but they're still responsible. A lot of things that people are failing in society is having a balance today. Like, you can't literally just go to your work and back and be a boring turtle in the shell. You actually have to have a soul. You actually have to have a life. You actually have to have things that make you happy. And Ashley was suffering from multiple things, but she relieved it by going out partying and drinking, and it backfired on her today. She had to literally be responsible at her job and it shows you a whole lot about life. It shows you a whole bunch about life in other countries, but also shows you a whole lot about what people like me and a whole bunch of other people go through. People who are smart and beautiful get a lot of flack in society because they think you're supposed to be just a model with no brain and that you're literally just sex appeal with nothing else. And I've suffered from that a lot. I've suffered from literally being a beautiful face that literally fell flat where it came to personality, but I always treated people that way I wanted to be treated and that will always literally get you far in life the first time I went to jail I literally didn't receive no flack from anyone because I was nice to everyone and literally that's what you gotta do to survive you know it doesn't matter where you are as long as you're nice to other people God will reward you and if you're the best you can be you will always and I mean always get reward you might not be rewarded right away but if you literally have a good intention in your heart and you treat people with respect, respect will come back to you. Even the people who disrespect you will know the truth. And this is literally, these two links specifically show you that I used to literally, 
I used to be a bad boy that used to have a good heart. Now my heart is pure, but I used to have this thing where I used to have to make friends with what Jalen and Yu-Gi-Oh! GX calls the Supreme King. I used to have a Supreme King complex back when I was going to family, back when I was going to nightclubs, back when I was literally doing bad shit, but that's only because I used to have a foundational good. Now I have a super foundational good after being to the other side, I realized being bad is everything. So I stopped being a bob boss. I stopped being a gang lawyer. This is really something that I want to share with, every, with everyone. Yes, I was put in a specific situation. If you go watch the Mr. Pudger movie, the film edit that I made about my favorite teacher, Mr. Pudger, it shows that how I was a good person, but it wasn't working because I was being targeted by a gang. And Mr. Pudger didn't know that. But if Mr. Pudger didn't know that, he would send reinforcements to make sure I was safe. And that is literally... The core of this link video, this literally stated why you have to literally understand how bad people work in order to protect your children from bad people, in order for people to not get scammed, in order for you not to be swindled into bad activity. It's really, really important for you to know that there is the other side of the field and that you shouldn't be oblivious to it, but you shouldn't want to join it either. You should be aware of what the dark side beholds so you can be prepared for it instead of actually just give up on being a good person because I've done that and it wasn't too rewarding but I'll tell you one thing what you to risk and you receive a reward but it's not the reward that you want and it's a reward that everybody just hypes up you will realize that you can be your own person and that you shouldn't let other people influence what you want in life and that literally you take your own risks that are worth it for safety like if you stand up to a gangster it will be worth it like if you stand up for what's right after having a foundation of good it will be worth it. So go check out the three links in the description, the AMV of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and Ask the Phoenix, the Netflix review of Can Cope World Cup, and the truth about Mr. Pledger, the short film edit the movie. So this is Mood Tricks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.